Okay, I'll start off with any questions. Same approach each and every day, and that's what makes Josh, Josh Dobbs, just the consistency in terms of his demeanor. Uh, never too high, never too low, just very, very consistent, which we talk to our players about each and every day. Obviously, you look like Evan and Elliot were both out there today. Was yeah. that a, a decision y'all talked about together or a family decision for them to stay here practice? Yeah, I mean, obviously our thoughts and our prayers are with Eric and his entire family and obviously uh, Evan and Elliot. But, uh, yeah, they're, you know, they're here, they're practicing, they're doing everything. And, you know, Vol for Life is all-encompassing and it's, it's uh, very, very important to us, but they're here going to classes and practicing, and, and uh, their teammates have been there for them, so it's been, it's been uh, family coming together. Have you all been able to keep it as normal as possible for them? Yes, yeah, and they're very mature. You know, they, uh, you know, and that's what they have us for, so it's been business as usual. We're in the process of evaluating some things. Uh, we'll know a little bit more later in the week. We want to obviously respect Eric and his family as well, and and uh, you know we've been in constant dialogue and communication. <clears throat> Cam said said yesterday at the uh, press conference that the reason he came out on Monday or Saturday's game was because he, I guess he blacked out and had on occasion. Is you know had he ever mentioned anything like that before? Or is that something? You guys when he came out, we have strict guidelines and policies that we follow on the sideline. He was evaluated. He was cleared. It was not a concussion. Uh, probably not a real good choice of words by a 19-year-old in front of professionals. Um, but he's fine. And, you know, that's one thing we take great pride in is our sports medicine staff. They do a tremendous job. So he's... Well, they continue to look into it and all that. But, you know, he'll, he's... Had an MRI, he was fine. You know, everything's it's just there's some things that go into it, but he's fine. <clears throat> Don't even we got much more bigger things to worry about, concern ourselves with. So, how do you keep the guys focused with you know Thanksgiving holidays, so many freshmen on the team away from home for the first time? Just how do you keep everybody focused this week? Well, it's part of that, them still being freshmen. Uh, but they've been focused all year. They've been very consistent. Uh, so I don't really see that being a distraction. Uh, and they've handled their business very well to this point in time, which leads me to believe, you know, they'll handle being away from their families, a lot of them for the first time. Uh, the great thing is, you know, practicing on Thanksgiving, we'll have a great Thanksgiving meal here, and then we'll go to all of our coaches' houses and some of our uh, the family members from Knoxville have opened their homes to the rest of the players as well. And I, the way I look at it is it's one big football family coming together with a lot to be thankful for. Are you making sure Charles Mosley is with you for that bet? He's not going to be with me because he doesn't want to see what I'm going to eat. So he always looks at my plate at training table. So. <laughs> There's also a bunch of players coming home this weekend, a bunch of Nashville guys. How do you expect them to kind of respond to that environment coming in play in front of them? The great thing about staying at home and representing your home state institution is you play in front of your family and friends every home game in Neyland Stadium in 102-455. But I know it'll be special when they get to go back uh, to Nashville. But again, they're very, very mature. They, you know, a lot of them have played there before in high school, so I don't see that being any clutter or any distractions at all. In terms of the Thanksgiving holiday, I know that there's other coaches around who will have practice in the morning and maybe send guys home, but y'all seem to try to want to keep it as normal as possible. Is that something you've always done in terms of trying to keep the flow of the game week? Yeah, but we have, we have accelerated the schedule. Uh, we'll practice in the morning, and I want them to be able to enjoy, uh, you know, being with our football family, being at our homes, being at some of our players' homes. So uh, we'll, we'll move up the practice schedule earlier in the day. 
you like to as much as possible though, because I mean I know it's a yeah you try to families, but you want to you got to get a big game. On it's a balancing act. So obviously it's Thanksgiving, but you want to keep things as much as normal. So much throughout the course of the week, and your preparation is being a routine, being in a routine as well. Going back to the team out east comment, you don't look for things like that as bulletin board material, especially in a rivalry week. No, we, we should have enough motivation to win the game to get win number six. Our players know what's at stake. That's That doesn't even need to be discussed. You said yesterday Matt Crowder was going to give it a go. It didn't seem today was kind of his status at this point. He was out for a few periods. He actually was out today pushing the sled. Uh, I would say right now he's probably questionable. I will know a little bit more tomorrow, but the great thing was is he did his recovery, he did some strength and conditioning uh, work in here, and then he was out, uh, went through a couple individual periods, again, pushed the sled. But right now, you know, it, each day is monumental for him in terms of getting it back. If we had to play the game today, it probably wouldn't be available, but we're not playing today, so we'll see as the week progresses. Right now, I'd list him as questionable. Any other suspended players at all? No. What about the, the wide receiver room with no Marquez the rest of this year? Did you see anybody stepping up there? It's been a, a group effort. It's one of the positions that have been hit by the injury bug. You know, when you lose Marquez North for the season, you lose Josh Smith for the season. Uh, you know, that's those are some setbacks, but it's also opportunities for other individuals. That's why in our football program, you know, having that position, continuing to recruit that position, grow and develop that position is critical because of the structure of our offense and how it's predicated on having a very deep wide receiver core. Is Ryan Jenkins working his way? Into he is. Ryan continues to progress. He's gaining valuable repetitions on special teams, and uh, he's gaining now some live game opportunities at receiver as well, and he continues to progress. What's on your system going to go down a little bit right there? The end of the open period, yeah, he should okay. be fine. Yeah, kind of a cramp uh, in his hamstring and his hip. Uh, he did come out and finish practice. Uh, it's just one of those bizarre things. What should you get a sense that Yaka could play faster on the practice field this week after the experience that he got on Saturday? Yeah, I do. I think some of it is confidence, having the live game opportunities and repetitions. Uh, but it'll be different this week just because of the different personnel groupings, shifts, trades, motions that they present. But I do, anytime you get game reps, uh, and he got a lot of them last Saturday, and I think that's helped his confidence. And the players around him have done a great job as well of instilling that confidence in him. What's the next steps for him over the course of this week? What do you have to see out of him? Just overall consistency, uh, playing with better instincts, uh, body position in terms of tackling, uh, and just repetitions, communication, just the volume of repetitions for him are critical. Are you all able to play your your defenses as best you can without having AJ in there, or is, do things have to be simplified a little bit or fewer checks? Or how many different no, we're playing our defense. Nothing has changed schematically with that. How, is that an impressive thing for Jakob to be able to handle at this stage? It is very there? impressive. Again, I, and I spoke about it in the press conferences, here's a young man that's a true freshman, but really maybe a high school senior because he's had a, you know, he's been in Germany. And so to be able to, to excel in the mental part of it like he did uh, last Saturday was very impressive. And we're going to need that, obviously, in moving forward Saturday as well. Todd did some some very very good things and he continues to progress obviously when you have the luxury of having an individual with the experience of Brian Randolph uh, that's great for TK's development because he continued to grow and build off of that as well but anytime they play meaningful games uh, particularly in early contest uh, helps their overall growth and development Good. Thank you. All right. Have a good one. If I don't see everyone, happy Thanksgiving. You too.